How you doing guys? Hey everybody. So we are here. At Epcot. Rob's favorite park. To do another food and wine? Yes, another food and wine. We're gonna do all the countries that we didn't get a chance to do because we got too darn full. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can catch Harmonious, which is their new fireworks uh, special, yeah, and to see this yeah, light up tonight. We want to see this light up, so that's why we're here. All right, so come Mo join us. Mainly, mainly for the food, but that's why we're here. So come join us, like and subscribe. Yeah, More so to if come. you're new to our channel, please like and subscribe. Help us build this channel, and we're just trying things out as they come along. I'm watching. Like and subscribe. Let's go, guys. Chimichurri, and that's the whoopie pie. All right, guys. So first, we're gonna try the corned beef. Yeah, I brought a fork and a knife just I so each of us can have it. It's kind of difficult with all this stuff. This, oh, this you have to eat it with the. You gotta do the perfect bite, like the chip, cheese curd, and the, the corned corn beef. beef. So if you could see that on there, that's gonna be a lot. She, yeah, she likes that. I'm the guy that likes the corned beef, the onions, and everything else, minus the cheese curd. Yeah. So this one's me. Thank you for your cooperation. My chip was stale. Is yours? Mm. It was hard. It was just very hard. Yeah. Corn beef is good and nice and salty. Yeah. That's really good. All right, so you're gonna try now the chimichurri? And the, it's like a pancake It's type not a thing. pancake type. Yeah. So, you can give me some of that, I'll try that. You want it with the pancake or no? Yeah, you gotta do the perfect bite. Everything on there, right? Everything on there. All right. And it so, looks like it's a corn yeah. cake. I like that one better. Flavors of Fire for us is always a hit. We love Flavors of Fire. Every year is spot on. Yeah. yeah. This is one thing, whenever we come here, Flavors of Fire is our go-to because it's yeah. really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then of course, whoopie pie, can't beat it. I'm gonna try a little bit of this cake. I don't want this cake because it has bacon on it, marshmallow, and ground cracker and chocolate cake and mm. yeah this is really really good flavor so far always gets a thumbs up for me you yeah me too right. i'm just hitting this corned beef again Hawaii has. Well, we heard they got the Kalua pork slider, teriyaki glazed spam hash, tuna poke, and a passion fruit cheesecake. Sorry about our shadows, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sunny out here today. Let's see if we can see the other side. The other side, uh, show it. Yep, this is much better. You like anything from there? Um, I'm not really a big fan of Hawaii. All right, so on to something else. I'm going to show you the menu and we'll see something else. You pick your salad. So this one is a new one for 2021. Swanky Saucy Swine. Want to try the crispy barbecue pork rinds? I think we're going to try... Oh, with pimento cheese. That's the same thing that they have at the Disney Springs Okay, we're going to try the crispy barbecue pork rinds. Okay. And do you want to try the sticky ribs or no? No. No, we'll just try the pork rinds. All right, so there we are. That is the pork rinds with the pimento cheese. And we've had this before. The Polite Pig at Disney Springs has this. Yes. Something like this. Yeah. I don't know if it's the exact same thing. We'll find out. 
you were gonna say so they are doing this Emile's fromage montage so you go to five different places and you get stamped and you get stamped so you have to choose you have to eat all of these and then at the end you get a gift a shimmering sips hosted corksicle for your prize a meal fromage completer prize near the port of entry so we got one stamp right there several more to go from the swanky saucy swine for having the pork rinds with the pimento cheese oh well, we're gonna find out how this is That, ooh, that pimento cheese is spicy. They have fresh pork rinds on the top. Ooh. Oh, it did. It did. I dropped it. Whoops. Good job, Kathy. Good job. Mm. You had one job. I had one job. And that's what I did. I dropped the pork rinds. Thank goodness it comes on a little plate. Not bad. No. And for those who didn't know, because we know, pork rinds are a good source of protein. Yes, they are. No carbs, except for the cheese. Well, cheese also has protein too, so. I don't know about this one. Yeah. That's a good snack. It nice is. Nice bag size. It was 475. And a decent amount of cheese. That is seriously a decent amount of cheese. Well, it's supposed to be for probably a group of four. Maybe. Really Look at that pork rind. It's got some seasoning on it too. That one looks really hard. That's spicy. Mm. And the pimento cheese is spicy too. All right. Not overly spiced, but spice. This is actually pretty good. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna save ourselves. Mm. And go to the next country. And there's so much more. So much more to do. Pan fried chicken dumpling, Z Ron beef bao bun, and crispy fried pepper shrimp. Huh? Alright, guys. Well, uh, we just got back from China and we have the beef bao bun. And the fried chicken dumplings. We actually found a bench to sit down on instead of eating on top of a garbage can or uh, um, standing, standing up standing on up. those tanning up tables. So which one do you want to try first? Um, I'll try the chicken dumplings. Since I'm holding the camera. I will feed you. You will feed me. It is so hot and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. Unexpectedly hot. It's been cool the last couple days here in Florida, but all of a sudden it's really hot. Not surprising. Okay. Here we go. Don't spill that sauce on me. No. Here it comes. Mmm. That is really good. Let's try this. That is very good. I like them things. Mmm. Sauce is a little bit of a zing. Mm-hmm. It was good. That was really good. This bao bun, um, I thought it was gonna be an enclosed bao bun, but it's an open bao bun. Here's the problem with sitting down. You wanna grab that? Okay. Good little sandwich. Onions, so it looks, mm. Wow, that's super close, by the way. <laughs> Very peppery. Mm. Let me give it a whirl. Up, 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 up. That has parsley in it. It's like peppery. Very, that's the peppery? Oh, I didn't know that, okay. Very good. Mm. Mhm. Mm I like that. Yeah, it's real good. Mm. 
I'm the guy that finishes it all. <laughs> all right, Rob has been waiting for this one. This is a new one for 2021, Kenya. This is Kenya right here. We're gonna be trying the Kenyan coffee barbecued beef tenderloin. Served with sweet potatoes and corn and melony pop and cat. Mealy pop and come to Bari slaw. Yeah, we're gonna try that and see how it is. All right, so all right. this is from Kenya and what was this called again? This is the uh, barbecue, the coffee barbecue tenderloin. Okay. And you're gonna try this one because I'm not interested. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna try with the corn first. A little bit of vegetables. That's actually good. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna try this beef tenderloin with some coffee. Coffee flavored. Does it have coffee flavor to it? It does. It does? It's tender. Mm -hmm. I want to melt in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Next one is the Alps. Yep. And this one last year was a nice one too. I like the rocklet cheese. Very good. Comes out really warm. And let's give the Alps a try. Yep. So this is what it looks like. Cheese, warm toasty bread, some potatoes, and some pickles in there. Alright, this one the wife's gonna try. <laughs> yeah, I did not want to have anything to do with that candy, but look at this cheese. Like, watch your pork there. Yeah. Stretchy cheese. Love that. Gotta grab some toasty bread. This baguette I may try. And then these little. Cornichon. Cornichon. Oh. I love that, that saltiness. Mmm. We have all these little potatoes. We have a friend visiting. We do. Mm. Warm potatoes, warm cheese, toasty, crunchy bread. Sorry. Okay. Want my taste? No. Our pickles? Mmm. I love potatoes. I know. Mm. You try potatoes? Huh? No, I didn't try the potatoes. potatoes. I'm trying to let everything balance down. Mm. I love that cheese though. All right, so we are here at France. And I think we're gonna go for something sweet, so creme brulee. I know what I'm gonna and get. And then my famous drink that I love, La Passion Martini Slushy. Also while in France, we actually got a boarding group for the new Ratatouille ride. Ratatouille? Ratatouille ride. Got a new boarding group. Got a boarding group for the Ratatouille ride. So um, we're gonna go back there and check it out and hopefully they call us before the bar closes. We'll see. Real good. Yeah. Nice citrusy flavor, right? Nice citrusy flavor. Has a little orange liqueur in it. Mm, very good. Vodka, you can taste it. It's pungent. It punches you right in the face. Very good. That's goose. the best. Yep. Gotta crack that stuff. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, it's nice and warm. Mm. It's really, really good custard. Mm. 
All right, guys. Just on top of here, you'll see the, the boiled sugar, the custard. Really good, right? Many feet. Woo! I know, but I, I'm allergic to seafood. There you go for Ireland. What are you gonna have, Rob? Uh, I'm searching still, but it's between the fisherman seafood pie or the roasted Irish sausage. Oh. So that's the fisherman's seafood pie. Seafood there pie. is shrimp. There is lobster, and there are scallops in here. So nothing that I can have. So Unfortunately, enjoy. no. Since my wife has a seafood allergy, I know she cannot have this. Enjoy. You can smell the fresh seafood of this. Mm. It looks hot. It's hot. Hot, cooked hot or spicy hot? Cooked hot. Mm. How is it? Chunks of seafood in here is amazing. You can taste the shrimp and the lobster and there's itty bitty scallops in there in here. See these right here? Those are scallops. Would you order it again? Mm-hmm. It's right up there with the flames of fire. Oh, uh, flavors of fire. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone. All so, right, guys. It's a little late. It's getting dark, and it's going to be harder to show things on camera. Yeah. So we're just waiting here for our boarding group for the Rat Tattooey ride. I feel we keep saying Rat Tattooey. It's Rat Tattooey. Rat Tattooey. Ride. Um, let me see. So that'll be it for us tonight. Um, it's getting dark out, so it's harder to vlog things in the dark. But another fun adventure at Food and Wine, and we'll definitely be back and try some more. Definitely. It's just, again, you're not too full. Remember, click like and subscribe to our channel. It'll help us grow. And remember, there's more adventures coming. See you next week, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.